I have a reverse story. My sister had a brain tumor about 10 years ago. Um, and when they did the surgery, she had some complications that they didn't realize at the time. And she ended up being in ICU for two weeks. Um, and when she finally came through, and at first she started writing, and I'll be honest, I kept those, piece, those pieces of writing for a very long time, thinking about making art with them, but I just couldn't, it was too close. Um, but her story was she saw her deceased father-in-law and he actually told her, no, it's not your time yet. You still have things to do. I need you to stay. And that was once they took the, because she was on a feeding tube and things, once they took that out and she could speak, that was one of the first things that she shared with us. And she went on amazingly so within a couple of years to have um, a, another son who she named after her deceased father-in-law Samuel, um, because she thought that was part of it that, you know, he knew or could see that she would have another child. Um, if she stayed. Um, so it, it, those kind of stories are just, you know, there's, there's so much that we don't know and we don't, we may not ever understand like that. 